Kor Levui Wai district is located in the heart of the Coral Coast and consists of four villages, Wotua, Wotua Lai Lai, Tangange and Namanda. With a population of almost 2,500 people living in over 400 households, tourism is the district's mainstay. Korolevoi Wai is a success story in community ecosystem-based management, demonstrating the significance of connecting communities with their environments for sustainable livelihoods and resilience. Underscoring the district's success was the project partnerships of local communities with the support of New Zealand Aid, the National Institute for Water and Atmospheric Research, the University of the South Pacific Institute of Applied Science, Fiji Locally Managed Marine Areas, Eco ENG Limited, Rotary Pacific Water for Life Foundation, Habitat for Humanity, Reef Explorer Fiji Limited, and the GEF Pacific Ridge to Reef Program. Key community ecosystem-based management projects focused on the development of marine protected areas, or MPAs, water supply and wastewater treatment, and solid waste management. In October 2016, the Global Environment Facility Expanded Constituency Workshop for the Pacific organized a field trip to Votua Village for participants across the region to learn about the linkages between land and coast and the importance of community engagement for sustainable development outcomes. This initiative for community-based uh, management resources, uh, it uh, started in 2002 to where the Wanua and Dabutukia or the district uh, had their request in 2002 and this is where the partners came and uh, have a discussion with the community and came out with uh, identify issues and also also came out with the root causes and also from that uh, workshop we came out to establish a uh, action plan or a management uh, plan for the district as a result marine protected areas or mpas were established banning destructive and unsustainable practices. Participants on a field trip to Votua village saw firsthand the work being done and heard from the villagers themselves on managing solid waste like rubbish collection, recycling, cleanups and composting. As you can witness while uh, inspecting the village, you can see the cleanliness of the village. A key project for the village focused on improving water supply and wastewater management. Dual chamber septic tanks were installed, passing black water through vertical flow wetlands and flood irrigated down a wetland garden channel with flood tolerant plants like bird of paradise and dalo. The coconuts ask that us are already wet, put them outside and put new husks in. A separate grey water system filters wastewater through half drums filled with coconut husk and discharged through the village drainage system. It's important for women and youth because they are the ones who are really the force for these activities. Eh? And also for the youth too, they are, they are the manpower um, for, for the projects. Uh, that's how I see the, this, they are imp very important. Before they improve on the water system, what we found out in the village is kids have been uh, having a lot of skin uh, diseases. Children and mostly children have been affected. And um, in 2006 to 2008, the water has been improved and uh, um, the kids, after that I continue to do the survey and kids have been improved on their health. Through the one day field trip they were able to share these learnings and demonstrate these benefits to the Jeff ECW participants. I think there was a lot of, um, a lot of learning experience for us here in the, uh, in, in the uh, field trip today. I, I think the wastewater treatment was one of the best um, work that has been done, but we've also seen uh, marine protected areas and 
and the wetlands and the work that and economic empowerment of women through handicrafts. So that's a lot of work. But um, I think what we saw was the um, community empowerment. And so I think what's most impressive here is the fact that we have a community which has come together using traditional values, traditional knowledge to solve a, a key environmental issue which they have. Um, they've recognised what they need to do, they recognise the benefits of this particular activity and this is why they've gone ahead and done it. I think this has been extremely impressive. Korolevo Iwai is heralded as a success story in community ecosystem-based management with lessons that can be shared across small island developing states. The outcomes demonstrate that by connecting communities with each other and their environments can improve sustainable livelihoods and resilience.